Hey guys, uh, this is what I've managed to do so far, and I guess this is how we'll go, how we're going to be doing this. And uh, yeah, this will also serve as a proof of concept that uh, we can do something like this. Yes, yeah, so here is uh, the opening sequence. Uh, we can see the story I want to do is called the Alicia Wars, and I have a concept about it. Uh, so, yeah, and. Uh, I'm just trying to see how I can set up the entire environment. I'm going to upload the time lapse of creating this scene here and uh, those titles, opening titles. Maybe let me also talk about just how I made the opening titles here. You can see we have this text or the title of our story, uh, episode one. I'm yet to record voiceover and uh, everything like that. I'm not going to do voiceover for, for each character that speaks. Uh, if you have watched, if you have uh, listened uh, to audio audiobooks uh, like uh, Harry Potter or uh, The Hobbit, that I'm going to do that kind of, yeah. So you just talk over the story and maybe when it's needed, you can I can add in some uh, some commentary or something like that but uh yeah this is a proof of concept uh, you can see that uh it doesn't look too bad uh, we have set up our, our world here very very simple and uh immediately after i recorded the update video video i went into blender and i started working on uh this to see if i can manage to do that and i made a simple town here which i'm going to use uh, for the story and you can see we have our characters. I'm yet to animate them. And as I said, the way I'm going to be animating this, I'm going to keep things very simple. So if this is this, if I wanted to animate this guy, I just do a simple. If they say they are having a conversation, I can just add a simple animation like that. And I guess I can use uh, the noise modifier for the keyframes here to add in that random rotation. So you can see that uh, yeah, they 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 seem like they're having a conversation. So yes. Very simple animations like that, and maybe a walk cycle. Again, if you have watched Thin Matrix's videos, you can you can watch some of his videos, and that's what, that's the kind of approach I'm going to to to, to have here. I, but uh, the difference is that uh, he does your games. I'm just going to do uh, short stories in Blender. So. Actually, this is not going to really be a short story. It's just going to be a series of episodes. Uh, like a uh, four story and so yeah that's where we are again the time lapse is going to be on the blender money channel but uh the episode episode one will be on my on the new channel blender stories channel i've just created so make sure to subscribe to that to watch uh, the first episode how i'm yet to be anywhere ah, have a few subscribers already that's nice awesome 20 thank you so <coughs> yeah yeah, I was going to talk about the title sequence here I've just created. It's very, very simple, very simple basics. And uh, yeah, at first, if you watch the time lapse, you'll see that I experimented with different ways to create this and uh, I was having a few issues. I'm leaving all that in so that you can see how I go about uh, with uh, problem solving and yeah, just brainstorming ideas uh, so you can see how, why I choose to do this way, to do it this way. So, so the idea here is that uh, I have a text uh, that is parented. Everything here is parented to the camera so that when the camera is moving, uh, the text is also following uh, the scene and uh, it's, in, it's in the foreground. And so to make it appear, The text here has a Boolean object, uh, which is this object, uh, which is set to uh, the operational difference. So when this is animated away from the object, from the text, it kind of reveals the text. Let me first turn off keyframes. You can see, if I move it forward, I'm just cutting out uh, the text like that. And uh, to make the effect more look more appealing, or to make it look like uh, it's just fading into space, I've added a particle simulation here very simple it's a simple plane with the particles with a few particles here and I added a turbulence force 
to add some turbulence movement out of the particles and uh, that particle emitter is parented out of this mesh here so as this you can see as this reveals uh, the text uh, that particle emitter starts emitting particles and then the turbulence also adds in uh, that turbulence out of the particles to have that and uh, right after the text is revealed we stop emitting uh, the particles so the particles are, uh, start emitting they start being emitted at around actually i didn't set a start frame because it doesn't really matter it, since the particles are uh, the text also starts revealing right away so uh, it works seamlessly so when the text is revealed uh, the particles fade away and i also make sure that the, that, uh, the lifetime is not too high so that they fade away in the distance and uh, what i've also done here i also went to the text textures uh, section settings of the particle settings and i gave that a blend a blend texture so that the particles as they as they move away from the emitter their size decreases so to do that i just use the blend texture and under influence i set uh, i set the influence to size so that influences you can set it to physics velocity other things so if you want to influence a lot of actually i think that i don't know if it's adding anything but uh, it might i think because yeah, so you can influence a few things here you can even turn on gravity if you want actually i don't think it's doing that much here but uh, yeah so you can use the blend mode to, uh, to affect how your particles are behaving so and i think uh, that's it uh just so then at the end here uh, we need this text to disappear we're doing all our effects in blender so to make the text disappear i used the build modifier uh so i make i made sure that uh, the build modifier starts at a frame of uh, 100 and uh, something so uh, right around here so the text starts to disappear and uh, the length is set to so it will disappear that animation will last for 30 frames and uh, it will disappear like that everything else is a very simple setup you can just watch the time lapse uh, so this is how we're going to be doing it i'll be making progress in the uh, in our short movie uh, or in our series and explain the thing the different things i've done and uh, if you want to watch how i made the entire episode you can just go over to blender money where you will find the time lapse of what i've done uh, basically if you i really like this guy's a channel because i've it has taught me a lot and i've, I've been subscribed to him for about a year uh, this is his he's working on his second uh his second uh yeah game and uh, all i've been doing is just making tutorials and tutorials you don't really have a tangible one single thing you show to show so for example if if i was trying to get a job at a studio and uh, they, they, ask, they asked me what i've done in the last three years you you can't really show tutorials as a as final work so that's why i'm trying to offer this uh, so if you have something completed like a, a series an episode of series like like what we're trying to do here you can show that as a final project that this is what i worked on but so basically just creating a few cubes editing cubes and making us a house or i don't know the different things you you, you might make it doesn't really add to yeah basically i don't know i guess that's it uh, that's and uh, that's how we're going to be doing i'll just may be making progress in the different trying to yeah you know bye